Hello and welcome to Matt Tech TV. I'm your host Randy Rogers. And on today's program, what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at a forum that, excuse me, a tool that I created a video for uh, almost four years ago. And it's it's gotten a decent amount of views, at least for me. I'm not Miranda Sings or something, so I don't get quite as many views, but it's got almost 90,000 views and it still gets views and it still gets a lot of questions and things like that. But the problem is the tool has actually changed quite a bit. So I wanted to make an updated version of that. And that tool is Form Plus. And I was, here's the old video right there. And uh, anyway, the uh, what the function of this tool is, is it allows you to create online forms that work with your Google Drive or your Dropbox, but Google Drive is really what we're focusing on today, and it lets users upload, complete the form, and then they can attach files that can be uploaded into your Google Drive. And I think that'll come together in just a minute as we make an example. Um, but uh, anyway, it's a really nice feature that you can't do with just the regular forms tool in Google for instance, in Google Drive. And so anyway, uh, we're going to show you how it works. The new tool is really wonderful, and they've made a lot of nice upgrades to it. It's real user friendly. So let's get started. First of all, just upfront acknowledge that the pricing structure for the tool, the free version only gets you 15 uh, monthly responses um, uh, to your form. If you're just using this for the occasional, you know, like like I work with classroom teachers, you know, and maybe they just need to occasionally send something out to parents and uh, remind them to submit that progress report. I mean, excuse me, that to, to that signed progress report or that permission slip or something like that, and they could actually scan that and just upload that physical copy to the teacher's Google Drive using this tool. And so they're not going to do it that often or have that great a number of submissions quite often and so this would work great for them if you're in the business world you're probably going to want to look at some of these other plans you can see even an unlimited plan is it's really not that it's not a bad deal it's 24 dollars a month and that's unlimited uploads uh and responses to your form the pro plan which is eight bucks a month 400 uploads that's pretty good that's a pretty good deal for only a dollar more but anyway uh so you, just so you know uh that that's what you're looking at Okay, so let's get into the form and actually create a form. What we're going to do when you're on the uh, dashboard, you've signed up, you registered for the account, you've linked up your Google account, you're going to click create a form. The actual form tool is wonderful. It's click and drag and edit, and then there's not much more to it. So I'm going to first click right here, and I'm going to add a title. So I'm going to say maybe this is going to be student council application. All right. Again, I'm working in the education world, so just bear with me if you're a business person. All right, I'm going to click Save. And maybe my next one is going to be a short text. And if I click on this, I can edit this right here. I can say name, and maybe my placeholder is first and last. And I don't probably need the supporting text, so I can delete that. And I do want this to be a required question, and I click Save. So we've added our first question right here. Uh, maybe my next one is I need the email address of the student. Again, if I click on it, I can change the labels. I can change the placeholder. I can delete this text because I really don't have any subtext to go this. Um, I can make it required or not. Maybe I'll make that uh, required and and so on um, maybe this one is going to be a number and I'm going to edit it and it's going to say phone number again I don't really need that and it's required and I click save okay so I've got this basic form going on you can see it's really very easy to, to add this here's a long text box date time so on and so on there's actually one here that says phone number I could have used but uh, just imagine that I did. All right, and then what you want to do, there's some other features you can do. They have drop down, uh, you can add drop downs, check boxes, and radios to your form, just like you can in Google Forms. You can add, you can actually insert things like um, images, videos, and stuff like that into your form, which, you know, you might not have to do that often, but it is a useful thing. Uh, maybe you need an informational video that sort of tells about what's expected. Uh, for the job or whatever your, you know, your application or your form is for. But this is really, so those are all there and those are easy enough to stick in there and to embed videos, embed images and stuff. But really what makes this most powerful um, and people most excited is the file upload part. So if I click file upload and drag it over here, 
it's going to ask when you click on it you know here's the label so maybe this is going to say up uh, click to upload letter of reference I can't spell but you know what I'm trying to say there we go and again I don't probably need that I do want to say it's required and I want to click save and they can then upload the file so basically I'm done I've got a simple application it's the, just their basic contact information and then a letter of reference obviously this is you would probably do something a little more complicated you can even do multi-page um, uh, forms as well so this is just a real nice simple one I'm gonna click save form just takes a second he looks angry doesn't he but he's not all right here's my student council application now you should also know that there are a variety of themes and buttons and stuff like that however they are only available if you do the premium plans so don't even click over here your heart will be broken if you're just trying the free form tool because you'll get this you'll see all these themes and it's going to click it and it just won't do it so don't don't waste your time last thing I'm gonna do is click view form and I can actually then see what the form is gonna look like and uh, one of the things that you can do back here if I go back into the form is you can determine an, under settings whether or not it's going to require a CAPTCHA which CAPTCHA of course is just this thing that says I'm not a robot it's a nice simple one it's not one of the real crazy ones where you can't read the text and you input it wrong four times you can put submission deadlines how many submissions one person can do and so on um, you can turn on or off email notifications for submissions and so on so anyway I've saved the options and this is what my form looks like so then all the person has to do is input it they can put their email address I can't spell again today I tell you what and their phone number and then if they want to upload their file they simply go in here and find a file whatever file they want to upload let's let's go with this one here and then they click I'm not a robot I am not a robot um, and then click submit and then BAM it is completed now just so that you can see what it looks like in your drive in your drive it's automatically going to create a forms folder you can see it right there and if I look at my forms folder you can see here's my student council application all right and this is where the files end up there's my file that that person just uploaded and if I click on it it'll open it as a word file and then here is my spreadsheet just like in Google Forms of the responses okay so it acts very much the same as Google Forms in that it puts all your data in a nice convenient spreadsheet you can sort it and just look for particular things and so on it even has a link to the document in that other folder which is kind of nice okay so that is about it for the basics um, getting started is real simple my suggestion is uh, make a little simple practice form and try one submission before you know and see how it works I think you'll find that um, it's super user friendly and uh, a great way to collect data from well, you know a variety of people whether it be students or clients or whatever and that's all we got. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time on Matt Tech TV.